hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we continue the non-linear pde of type 3 so type 3 means it is of the form here the equations contains uh, that is it contains both x and y terms but not z terms but in the type 2 it, it so type 2 it contains only z terms it was independent of x and y but here it is independent of z contains x and y terms okay so the equation in which the variable z is absent and the terms involving p and x can be separated from those containing q and y can be written in the form f1 of x comma p and f2 of y comma q so that means in this step we can easily group the p and x terms one side and y and q terms another side okay so so this type is called as a type 3 nonlinear pda so here working rule is very simple first we have to write the uh, given equation in the f1 of x comma p and f2 of y comma q that means we have to separate the p and x terms one side and y and q terms another side second step is so we equate the this function that is f1 of x comma p and f2 of y comma q both we equate with the constant a okay so then we express this p terms in terms of a and x that is p is equals to f of x comma a so we express p in terms of x terms and a terms also q in terms of a terms and y terms that is a function of y and a next in the fourth step we put p and q in the given sorry in the equation dz is equals to p dx plus q dy okay so these values will be substituted in the dz equals to p dx plus q dy then integrating we get the complete solution of the given equation so remember the steps step one we have to group the p and x terms one side q and y terms another side in the second step we equate the this functions so that is px terms to the a and in the y sorry also y and q terms to the a so then we express p in terms of x comma a and q in terms of that is function of y and a then we substitute p and q value in the equation dz is equals to p dx plus q dy then integrating this equation we get the required complete solution okay problems first one solve p square minus q square equals to x minus y you can observe that this equation is independent of z it contains only x and y terms okay so now we can easily group this p terms and x terms one side and q and y terms another side okay solution this can be written as p square minus x plus take this q equals to q square minus y now it is of type 4 of type 4 sorry type 3 nonlinear pda okay so therefore we equate this equation that is let p square minus x is equals to a and this x minus y is equals to a for both the terms we have to equate with a only now we solve this p in terms of a that is p square can be written as a plus x or p is equals to square root of a plus x similarly q will be square root of a plus y so now we substitute this p and q value in the equation now put p and q in equation dz is equals to p dx plus q dy so substituting in this equation we get dz becomes square root of a plus x dx 
plus square root of a plus y dy. Now integrating we get z is equals to integration of a plus x to the power 1 integration is so you can write it as a plus x to the power 1 by 2 its integration will be a plus x to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 which can be written as 2 by 3 plus similarly here also we get 2 by 3 a plus y to the power 3 by 2 equals to so z sorry z integration we have written sorry dz integration we have written z okay here we have sub put a integration constant okay so this is the required solution or you may write it as this 2 by 3 can be taken common and then this side we get it as a plus x to the power 3 by 2 plus a plus y to the power 3 by 2 is equals to so it is uh, on sending this side we get 3 by 2 into c plus z okay so or 3 by 2 into c plus z or we can write it as simply uh, multiply this to this side we write it as okay simply we send this 3 this side keep this 2 as it is here itself so it is 2 into a plus x to the power 3 by 2 plus a plus y to the power 3 by 2 into 3c is replaced by another constant and it is 3z so we can write in this form also or simply you can keep this as it is next one root p plus root q is equals to x plus y so here also it is independent of z it contains only x and y terms so given equation can be written as so it is root p minus x equals to y minus root q ok so now integrating sorry not integrating so we equate these two equation with a ok so let or root p minus x is equals to a and y minus root q is equals to a ok so root p is equals to we get a plus x implies that p is equals to a plus x whole square so similarly root q value is equals to a minus y or q ok so minus is multiplied this side so we get it is a minus y minus a ok so root q q value is equals to we get y minus a whole square so substituting these two values so putting p and q values in dz is equals to p dx plus q dy it becomes dz is equals to p value is a plus x whole square into dx plus sorry q value is y minus a whole square dy now integrating we get z is equals to a plus x whole q by 3 plus y minus a whole q by 3 or so here we put an integration constant ok so it is is equals to 3z plus 3c equals to a plus x to the power 3 plus y minus a to the power 3 so this is the required answer next one solve p plus q is equals to sin x plus sin y 
so given equation can be written as p minus sin x equals to sin y minus q okay now let p minus sin x is equals to a and sin y minus q is equals to a okay so p is equals to a plus sin x and q is equals to sin a minus uh, sorry sin y minus a so substituting these two values in equation dz is equals to p dx plus q dy okay so it implies that we get dz is equals to p is nothing but a plus sin x into dx plus q is sin y minus a into dy now integrating on both side we get z is equals to a as it is uh, sorry a as it is integration of x is sorry one is x plus sin x integration is minus cos x sin y integration is minus cos y minus a into y plus integration constant is c so this is the required solution next problem solve y p plus x sorry y p plus x q plus p q equals to zero so this equation can be written as so y p here we can take q as a common okay so taking uh, taking q common we get q is equals to x plus p equals to zero okay so or so here we can write it as this y q sorry y p is equals to minus q into x plus p or y divided by q so this can be written as minus x plus p divided by p so now you can observe that we have grouped this y q terms one side and x p terms one side so now equating so that is let this minus x plus p divided by p is equals to a and y divided by q is equals to a so that we get so here a p is equals to minus x minus so simplifying that is a p plus p is equals to minus x or p taken as a common we get 1 plus a is equals to minus x or p is equals to minus x divided by 1 plus a so similarly simplifying this q in terms of a we get q is equals to y divided by a so we substitute this p and q value in the dz is equals to p dx plus q dy equation so dz equals to p dx plus q dy dz as it is p value is minus x divided by 1 plus a okay or minus we can write x divided by a minus 1 also first we write this one as it is or better you write p to, uh, value here it can be written as x divided by minus is multiplied to the denominator we get so this sign is multiplied to this denominator we get 1 minus a or better we keep as it is okay so simply we write minus x divided by 1 plus a into dx plus q value is y divided by a into dy now integrating we get z is equals to minus 1 by 1 plus a is constant x integration is x square divided by 2 plus y square divided by 2 into 1 by 
a plus integration constant is c so it can be finally written as z is equals to y square divided by 2a minus 1 divided by 1 plus a into x square plus c this is the required solution problem p square minus y cube into cube equals to x square minus y square So given equation can be written as p square minus x square equals to minus y square minus minus into sorry this becomes plus y cube into q. Okay. So now let p square minus x square is here in this because x occurs in the second degree therefore we have to equate this with a square. Okay. Right. Even this one also y square plus y cube into cube is equated with a square so here constant we take it as a square then p square value becomes a square plus x square p is equals to square root of a square plus x square and y cube into cube is equals to a square plus y square and q will be a square plus y square divided by y cube or further we can simplify it as a square divided by y cube plus 1 divided by y. Now we substitute these two values that is p and q value in dz equals to p dx plus q dy. So substituting in this equation we get dz is equals to square root of a square plus x square into dx plus q value is a square into y cube plus 1 divided by y into dy. So on integrating both sides we get z plus c or you can take the constant term this side okay, z. Now it takes square root of a square plus x square form. So its integration is x into square root of a square plus x square divided by 2 plus a square divided by 2 sin h inverse x by a plus 1 by a integration is log a now 1 divided by y cube integration is minus 1 by 1 divided by 2 y square a square as it is so a square as it is 2 y square plus integration constant is c so this is the required solution okay so like this you can solve the easily so Next, take this as homework. So, try this by yourself. Solve p e raised to y is equals to q into e raised to x. So, you can observe that here p is along with y terms. So, we have to operate, uh, separate p terms and x terms one side and q terms and y terms one side. So, I will just give you the hint. So, this can be written as p into so p divided by e raised to x q divided by e raised to y or it can be further written as p into e raised to minus x is equals to q into e raised to minus y now you can solve this easily okay so in this type only some of the equations uh, contains the z terms also so that can be transformed into the type three form okay by using some transformation and the transformation will be given in the exam okay so examiner will give the so that is in the question paper they will it's uh, mentioned that by using the transformation so that you can easily use the transformation to transform the given equation in the uh, required form okay so uh, that we will continue in the next video